Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the engine oil on a V6 or V8 Mercury outboard. You're going to need a 5 8 wrench, a band style oil filter wrench, a drain pan capable of holding about two to two and a half gallons of oil, a funnel, and a couple short lengths of half inch inside diameter hose. The engine oil we're going to use is the Mercury 10W30 synthetic blend. Mercury recommends this engine get its oil change about every hundred hours. Since this engine is brand new, we're not going to actually dump the oil out of it, but we are going to show you how to change it. To start, we need to have the motor trimmed up to make sure all the oil runs down into the sump. Go ahead and trim it down now. Now that the engine is trimmed all the way down, we can install this hose on this fitting and break it loose and turn it two and a half turns out. This should let the oil drain into your pan. While the oil is draining into your pan, we can come to the other side and remove this little yellow cap and slide on another short length of half inch inside diameter hose and go ahead and loosen our oil filter. This will let the oil in the filter drain down into the catch pan and out this hose. Once you've removed your oil filter, you need to make sure that this gasket here comes off with the old filter and does not stay on the motor. On your new filter, you need to smear a little bit of clean engine oil on this surface before you install it to the motor. When you install the filter onto the motor, you need to tighten it down until the filter just contacts the block. After it contacts, give it an additional three quarter to one full turn. Once the hose is removed, you can install the little yellow catch plug again. And finish cleaning out the pan. Now that your engine oil is done draining, you can go ahead and remove this hose and tighten this fitting to 132.7 inch pounds. Okay, we're now ready to fill our engine oil. This engine holds seven quarts. To find your engine oil capacity, you can look in your owner's manual up here on the fill, there's a decal, and on the back of the motor, there's a decal to give you your engine oil capacity. I like to start with about six and a half quarts. After I've put the six and a half quarts in, go ahead and pull the dipstick out and hold it horizontal and watch for the drips on the balls. This will show you where the oil level truly is. The distance between the top ball and the bottom ball is about two quarts. If you are still low, you can go ahead and add some more oil at this time. Once you are satisfied with the oil level in your engine, go ahead and start the motor and run it for a couple minutes and check for any oil leaks. If no leaks are found, shut the motor down and recheck the engine oil.